guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome to welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Bertigala. Everybody loves Bertigala, and I'm saying that because I cover a lot of replays on Bertigala. But, all right, let's take a look at the attacking armies first. We'll start off outside here with Tylus being commanded by uh, Sam Mitchell. I think it's Sam Mitchell. Playing as Tylus, from what we can see, he has brought with him eight units of tribal warriors, one heavy onager, and he does have a unit of the noble horse up over there on the hilltop. Then we have a uh, Samnite faction. Have not seen a Samnite faction, at least in without like using the New World mod, uh, but we do have Samnites here being commanded by Getraber. I think that's how you say his name. I might be saying it completely wrong. Uh, from what we can see, he has brought with him eight units of the silver Samnite silver infantrymen. One Lucanian warrior and one unit of the native companion cavalry, which is right there. And then we do have an Egypt being commanded by that chicken was dry. Well, maybe you shouldn't have eaten it. Uh, but he has brought within four units of Thorax Swordsman, four Royal Peltas, two Galatian Royal Guard, one Thoreo Spear. General is a Carrion Axeman, and he has a giant ballista as well up here on the hilltop. Looks like he did have his artillery, I mean, his towers in front to block his artillery, but uh, there is no artillery here on the front wall for him to have to defend it or block it with, so he's going to bring those towers around. Getting in onto the defender side, we do have an Arverni right here being commanded by Donner Krail, or Donner Crawley. Uh, he has brought five units of Osworn, five naked warriors. Naked warriors as a frontline troop. Interesting. Three units of Chosen Swordsmen, General is a Noble Horse, four of the Gallic Hunters, and he's got two Savage Dogs. We'll see how they can do. Uh, the Center Defending Army, we do have his Lusitani being commanded by Mo, and he has brought eight units of the Veteran Shield Warriors, five Nobles, one of those being his General, three Guerrilla Warriors already outside of the wall there, and he does have four units of the Balearic Slingers. And then finally, another DLC faction to go along with the Sam Knight faction. We do have the Insurabes. Insurabes? Insurabes? I think it's Insurabes. Uh, he has being, actually, Insurabes being commanded by Irishmen. And he has brought 12 units of the Gallic Elder Swordsmen. One of those being his general. These guys look pretty cool, I have to say. I like the helmet. Really like the helmet. That is a pretty, pretty snazzy looking helmet. I love the designs on it and everything. Uh, he also has brought them one unit of the Noble Horsemen, which are or were back here. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, they're way out over on the flank over here. Don't think. Yeah, they're seen. They are visible there. And he has also brought with him four units of the Gallic Hunters as well. But all right. Actually, we see the Egyptian artillery blasting away in here. He's got four kills so far. Does not look like the Onager has... Yeah, he's going to hold... Probably he's going to hold on to that Onager. Maybe make the, make its way forward there in a little while. The uh, Guerrilla Warriors now visible. We do see the Tribal Warriors now climbing off of the tower. Probably going to try and... Uh, yeah, they're going to fend those Guerrilla Warriors off. But it's a good play by the Guerrilla Warriors by Lusitani because he's slowing down at least some of the attack. Two of the Tribal Warriors have now climbed down which is going to allow them to start getting shot by the, oh, artillery. I was going to say arrow tower, but Lusitani starting to fire in onto these tribal warriors with his artillery piece right there. Five kills for himself. Do also see the noble horse Fort Tylus making their way around along with, oh, there's the other general, the well, noble horse general. Ooh, okay, so yeah, Insurabi, the noble horseman's going to have to run away from that. Don't want to take on, I mean, I think heavy melee cavalry. This is very heavy melee cavalry. So yeah, he's definitely going to have to pull away from that. Let's see their armor is 40. Melee defense is low. Oh, because of the frenzy charge. Okay. So melee defense is down just a little bit, but the noble horse looks like both units are going to shift their way and just kind of hide out in the woods. We do still see the general just a little bit, but he's going to clip away there. So inside the settlement, we actually have a lot of the Samnite silver infantrymen making their way inside. The defenders not holding this front area, which with the artillery up on the hill right there, I'm not completely against them not holding this front area uh, because that ballista right there would get a ton of kills, not counting if the heavy honor decided to roll up as well and stop bombarding this area. So not a bad idea. Oh, there, there's shots. Shots are coming in. Didn't really hit anything, though, but they are getting close. They are getting... Actually, they killed one of the Gallic Hunters there. Tylus with his tribal warriors now climbing up. And look at that. The uh, Lusitani artillery firing way across field here. 
Fire it. Oh, hitting into some of those silver infantrymen now. Lost five men. Going to have to start moving them forward now. In the middle here on this front gate, we have some of the Sam Knight in silver infantrymen taking on some naked warriors. Kind of surround. Actually, this first unit is getting obliterated. Oh, we got javelins coming in too. Ooh, veteran shield warriors going to pull away from the fight. But I think this naked warrior unit, yeah, they're going to be unfortunately be surrounded now. Or actually, not surrounded. Yeah, they're kind of being surrounded because they're fighting this Sam Knight warrior unit or Sam Knight silver infantry unit right there. And this unit of Sam Knight Silver Infantry as well. So unfortunately for them, I don't think they're going to be around for very much longer. I'm sure that they did get a pretty good charge in onto that inertial uh, infantry unit, though. Oh, wow. You see, like, two or three of them just drop all at the same time right there. Tough fighting. Tough, tough, tough fighting going on. Another unit of the Naked Swords now coming up over here. Going to stop this unit of Thorax Swordsmen just as they're getting off the tower. Might be able to get some good kills. But again, their armor is only 10. High melee defense, though. Very high melee defense, but their armor is only a 10. So that is going to be probably one of the reasons why they don't do as well. Again, five units of Naked Warriors as the front line. That is interesting. I have to say that is very interesting. But he could do a ton of damage. But oh, God. Getting shot in their back as they're running away. That trusty loincloth will only be able to do so much, but oh god, dogs are being released. I think he actually released both units of dogs, and he has charging in onto these Thorax Swordsmen. These guys might not look, might not do very well. The Handler's actually jumping into the combat as well. That first unit has already pretty much been annihilated as far as the dogs are concerned, but this second unit starting to do some, oh, actually not really doing very much damage. I thought he was doing more damage than that. All right, let's get back over on the other side here. See how the Eldermen are dealing with the Tylus Tribal Warriors. This is probably going to be a pretty good fight. I hear archer fire now coming in. They oh javelin, javelins or archers, archers, Nubian bowmen here, Cretan archers as well, firing in onto the veteran shield warrior. That line is going to break very very quickly. But I do see some of the Gallic hunters over here now firing away. Nine kills so far, probably firing into this tribal warrior unit right there as they would be getting a flank shot. Just as this unit here is probably firing into something that would be giving them a good flank shot as well. But look at all of everything that just showed up. What else do we have here? More of the Sam Knight Silver Infantry. Actually, he's got his general there as well. So it looks like he just brought a bunch of the Silver Infantrymen for his army. Back over on this side, Guerrilla Warriors did charge in, but it does look like they are being handled pretty easily. One of the Noble Horse coming out and giving aid to this Tribal Warrior unit. 129 kills for that Tribal Warrior unit. The Guerrilla Warriors... Uh, they're all getting cut down. Let's see. Actually, I got one right there. 41 kills for that unit. This other unit just oh, getting creamed. Absolutely hammered with a charge from behind. 36 kills for that unit. And it looks like all of the Guerrilla Warriors are now gone. So I actually missed the other unit right there. Now, is his cavalry is still out there? Okay. I do still hear the artillery firing. 102 kills now for that Egyptian ballista. Not really sure exactly where he's firing right now. He might just still be firing into this front line, which I don't know if that would be a very good idea to be continuing to fire in onto the front line because he could be clipping some of his own uh, ally units there. But we got a little bit of a skirmish battle going on back and forth. Some of the native Italian slingers there, two units of those, two other units now making their way in for the Sam Knights also. But they are firing back and forth, doing some pretty good damage against that Gallic Hunter unit. We have another unit of the Balearic Slingers right there, 35 kills. They have just a bit more armor than the Gallic uh, Hunters do. Gallic Hunters only have 10 Balearic Slingers there with 25. But guys, I want to take the opportunity real quick to thank you guys all for the massive, massive views that I've been getting on my videos. It's, guys, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I appreciate every single one of you guys for the views, the watch time, the likes, the comments, everything. It's really, really, really amazing, and thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, but just to remind you, please make sure to like the video, comment down below, share the content around, and if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button on the road to 10,000 subscribers for the year of 2022. Really, really hoping that we can get there. I mean, maybe if, if we can get more. Also, oh, 69 giggity. There it is. Got a 69 in there. Beautiful. 
Uh, but yeah, if we can get higher than 10,000, that would be amazing. But all right, back into the battle, we have a unit of the Chosen Swordsman charging in onto a Galatian Royal Guard. Ooh, that is going to be a difficult fight for sure for those Chosen Swordsmen. Looks like they're actually pulling away. Yeah, they are going to pull away. Do we have Osworn coming up? That might actually... There yeah, we go. Osworn unit going to come in, charge in, and get into that Galatian Royal Guard. Much better of a fight there. Much better of a fight. More even. More even than the uh, Chosens against the Galatian Royal Guard. Looks like the Osworn are actually going to pull away as well. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, that Osworn was going to, I think this, yeah, that Galatian Royal Guard unit looked like they were going to try and come around and pincer that uh, Osworn unit. 19 kills for them. Galatian Royal Guard so far, 48 kills, but some of them were on those Chosen Swordsmen. Another unit of the Naked Warriors, unfortunately, kind of left out to dry here. And they are going to have to take on some Thorax Swordsmen, another unit. So two Thorax and a Sam Knight Silver Infantryman. Looks like we do have the Noble Horse for the Insurabes making a beeline away. I think they were coming back out of the woods, but he has returned them back into the woods there. This fight over here still going on. The uh, Elders, oh, big charge. Rear charge, Sam Knight Silver Infantryman. What's their charge bonus? 20 charge bonus. Really doing a lot of damage. But Oh, my God, what a massive javelin volley right there. Veteran Shield Warriors charging in there for Lusitani. 12 kills on the Javelin Toss. Very, very nice. I don't really know a lot about the Silver Infantryman. Let's take a look. 60, 45, 65, 70, and a 65 health. 75 base morale. Wow. Very, very, very nice. Artillery shots. Oh, God. Barely clearing that line. Getting into some of those Veteran Shield Warriors. But look at that. Two of the Silver Infantry units starting to waver. Javelins galore. Archer fire continuing to come in. So look at how quickly this side is getting cleaned up for the attackers. But that artillery is still plowing in here. Getting into some of the Gallic Hunters again. Now we have the uh, Celtic Slingers. Four Tylers have made their way into the settlement. They're going to start firing away. This unit here already... Oh, uh, I thought one of them had some kills. No? Oh, is it, this, is it the Italians? Look at that in the center. 62 kills now. I would say this right here, you don't really want to pile them up like that. Uh, maybe the Italian Slinger should come back out so they'd have a little bit better of a volley target. But looks like the Gallic Hunters here out of ammunition going to charge on in. 99 kills for them. Going to try and get in here and help this Veteran Shield unit out. What are they up to? 52 kills. So far, it looks like the attackers are doing a pretty solid job. Balance of power is definitely in their favor. Off on this left side here, if you're looking at it from the attacker's point of view, that is going to be a tough fight to get through. Five units of Osworn over here. Chosen Swordsman now taking control of the front line again. Some Thorax, two units of Thorax, and the one same night Silver Infantryman unit over here. Pretty tough fighting. One of the same, actually, Thorax on its way out. 110 kills, though, for that unit. Very nicely done. 78 for the second unit. But in the middle, we have a bit of a struggle. Looks like, yes, yeah, Veteran Shield Warriors are about to be breaking here very, very soon. Lusitani Nobles, yeah, instead of leaving them out and getting shot, I mean, their armor is 45, one of the highest for Lusitani as far as infantry goes. Uh, but yeah, I would get them into the melee. Maybe coax some some shots coming from the uh, Nubian, bar, uh, the mercenary Cretan archers over here, and the Nubian bowmen. Maybe getting some shots into their own infantry there, or into their allies, I should say. The nobles now getting in there. 39 kills so far. They did hit that headhunt. So that melee attack. Look at that. 84 melee attack. Very, very high. Do hear some infantry getting around the side here, though. Yep. Some Royal Peltas for Egypt have now gotten around the back. And that Noble unit, wow. 
getting absolutely eaten alive. Oh, look at that. The Sam Knight Silver Infantrymen have killing spree. Ooh. And they have headhunt? No. That was the nobles. Okay, I was going to say, they have headhunt and killing spree? Ooh. -hoo. But look at this. Now, it's actually starting to come back in favor of the attackers. And look at the... I mean, Osworn's still over here. Arverni still got a very formidable force over on that side. But the uh, Lusitani force, his whole front line is pretty much gone. He's got his Lusitani nobles left. And the Insurabish army is pretty much gone. Wow. He's got four units back there near the town center. Another unit making their way back. We have some of the Balearic Slingers now pulling away 141 kills for them. But this front section, attackers doing a great job. Having a bit of resistance here in the in the beginning part of the battle. What is his artillery at? 166. And now we have the Heavy Onager actually now starting to bombard further into the settlement. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. No. Barely. Barely. Almost clipped there. I mean, I'd move it further, further up. Move it closer. Barely... Fire further back into the settlement here. Probably get some really good shots back there. Ooh, this noble, this noble, this noble. Nope. Actually, they're hitting broken units already. Well, then already they hit a broken unit, I should say. All right, we have some Lusitani nobles going to turn back around, going to make their way back in, and I would not advise that. Osworn coming around. So they, Tylus has Osworn also. Oh, wow. These are not just tribal warriors. Three, four... Four Osworn. Four Osworn. Ouch. That is going to be pretty tough. Speaking of Osworn, another unit has now charged in. Going to continue trying to hold this left side for the attacker's view. Like I said, actually, Arverni coming around. He's got some Chosen Swordsmen now getting in onto the back of a Thoreo Spear unit. But again, carrying Axemen. Not a good general. Really not a good general unit. But they are cheap which would allow you to flesh out your army a little bit more with better troops. And they also do have their precursor, just like Thoreo Spears and Royal Peltas. So they do have their advantages. They do have their advantages, but they are not a good infantry unit. That Chosen Swordsman unit should trash this Carrying Axeman unit pretty easily. Chosen Swordsman over here doing a pretty good job, I would say. Oh, they're taking on Galatian Royal Guard. They're actually not doing bad. They're, they're winning. Well, no, they were. They were winning. They were, they were winning that fight. Back over here in the middle, I'm kind of interested to see how this noble unit did. 58 kills. Yeah, Sam Knights. Two units of Sam Knights. This unit of Osworn not choosing to charge in behind. So, again, I completely understand that. Now, I do see the uh, noble horseman out here. He's got nowhere really to go because the attackers didn't knock down any breaches. The gate is still a gate. It wasn't busted in, so... Uh, if I was the Insurabes, I'd get that cavalry back around inside the settlement and try and see if maybe you can use them inside. Native Companion Cavalry have moved in for the Samnite faction, kind of just hanging out. Now, up on the hill, this is a bit of a danger zone for the attackers, I'm not going to lie. Four units of Gallic Hunters sitting up on this hill. They could easily come out here and just start blasting away on anything that comes this way. But the defenders, you're going to need to bring some stuff up over here or get these Gallics out of here. Those are your two options. Some of these uh, Gallic Elder Swordsmen. Is that what it is? Yeah, Gallic Elder Swordsmen might need to come around and try and buff up this fan. Oh, here comes the Cavalry. Companion Cavalry. We're going to stay with them. See what they choose to do. He's going to pull off. He's going to pull off. Okay. I think he was just trying to scout out, see if there was anything else that they were not able to see initially there. But back down over here, Osworn still doing their job, holding this front line up. Archer's not choosing to fire over here. I mean, he could... Egypt could, if he wanted to, bring his archers up over here and start firing across into that front line to try and break it down a little bit further. But I don't think that that's really their main goal. Looks like this is their main goal, to try and make their way up through these streets here and here to get around. No units making their way around on this backside over here by the uh, waterfront property, if you will, for this settlement. Trying to come around that way. But a little bit of a lull. I'm not making any cuts. I did see your guys'... Uh, I saw the comments on, you know, Joe, don't make any more cuts. Don't cut battles out. Don't stop it at the end of the battle. Let the whole thing play out. So I will no longer be doing that. If anything, I'll just fast forward to the end if it's really that much. You know, if it's that much of a slaughter, then I will just fast forward to the end of the battle. But... Uh, I'm feeling like we're going to get a pretty brutal battle here. Over 20 minutes still left in this battle replay. 
and there is a lot of attackers left compared to not a lot of defenders but the defenders they do have tough units they do have the tough units here osworn still there this unit of osworn is about to have a problem so we got galatia yeah it looks like he's going to try and pull back i bring them back i would try and you know stiffen up the defenses as much as possible these two units are pretty much gone they're, they're stuck into the fight right there. Maybe leaving them in there. But this is 70 Osworn. Oh, 67 Osworn. Good javelin volley there. Here comes the charge. Getting in onto that Osworn unit there. And this Osworn, I don't think they're going to last. Don't think they're going to last very long. Ooh, blood splattering all over the place. Yeah, that Oswan unit, they're getting surrounded. You can see the Galatian Rural Guard now starting to get around the flanks on both sides. But we do actually have some of the Gallic Hunters here for Insurabes getting some shots. And if I'm saying the name of the faction wrong, I apologize. Uh, I think it's Insurabes. I think that's how you say it. But they're getting some really, really solid shots in onto that Galatian Rural Guard. So that actually could be helping the Osworn out. But again, I don't think that Osworn unit is going to be around very much longer. Another unit of the Galatian Rural Guard getting a huge rear charge in onto the back of those Chosen Swordsmen and Osworn. So unfortunately, these two boys are going to be gone as well. 110 for the Osworn. Chosen Swordsman there with 75. Pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. We actually have some flame arrows? Yeah, they're firing flame arrows, trying to break the morale even more of this Galatian Rogue Guard. But that base morale, even with the flame arrows coming in, is still a 61. Very high. We actually have another unit of the Balearic Slingers now firing in onto the back of that Galatian Rogue Guard unit that charged in onto the back of the Osworn and Chosen Swordsman. So good shooting there. Just chopping them down even more. Now, Egypt still has... He's got four units of Royal Peltas back here. Yeah, four Royal Peltas there. Another unit of Royal Peltas there. Tylus has one, two, three, four, five units... Oh, sorry. Four Osworn. One Tribal Warrior there in the center. Still has his Noble Horse General and the other unit of Noble Horse Cavalry. So the, the attackers still definitely have... Cap no, you can't get in there. Yeah, you're going to have to fire from here, bud. Too big. Too big. Can't get in there. Fire from there. I mean, you should. they should be able to see this. Oh, no. It's all hidden. Well, for now, it's hidden. It won't be hidden for very much longer. But it wouldn't be a bad idea for the Onager at least maybe take some shots in this area right here. Or at least somewhere in this area. Start just bombarding the area. He doesn't have any targets that he can actually look at. But a simple left alt right click. And he will, that will give the artillery the, the bombardment command. So they will start firing over in that area. But we do have the Thorax Swordsman now for Egypt making their way up. Oh, sorry, Galician. Oh, yeah, one Thorax, two Galician Royal Guard, and a Thorio Spear. So these are now wide open. They are visible. So I'm going to guess this Onager is going to start firing. Looks like he's kind of still trying to move them around. I mean, just pull the artillery back to like right there. Just move it back, reform it up, and start firing. 114 kills. He's probably got some more ammo. I would say he may has another... May has? He may have another volley or two. But he, it looks like he's trying to get it to come inside the walls. And it just won't. It's not going to make it in there. So I, I would just line it up and start trying to get in there. Start getting some shots in. But all right. Front line of Osworn is going to be brave and try and hold back. There is still a lot left for the attackers, though. A lot left. We've got some Lusitani Nobles over here taking some Javelin Volleys being fired at by the Thoreo Spears. We actually have Royal Peltas firing over here as well, but oh god. All four units of the Gallic Hunters for Arverni now going to start unloading. I saw all four of the unit commands be given. Looks like they're kind of trying to get to where they need to be. This actually might not be a bad idea for them to fire here. Start trying to fire into this ranged core that's coming up. All these Celtic Slingers, three units making their way here for Tylus. That might be a much better idea to fire at. Unless these guys... No, they, they don't have their backs. So yeah, I'd be firing at the Slingers. Definitely want to try and take out those Slingers. Actually, over on this side, we have a good back and forth range. Oh my god. Balearic Slingers, 238. 
Wow, really nicely done. Gallic Hunters there for Insurabes with 78. The Blair Slingers there, second unit with 80 now. And they are kind of eliminating these Caritan Archers pretty quickly. 45, 215, and the Slingers there with 61. They could actually start getting some shots in onto these Royal Peltasts all as well. I would definitely be trying to fire in onto that Royal Peltast. Shield is on the opposite side. I mean, it's 80 armor, but I'd start firing in there. I would definitely start trying to chop them down because that is not a unit that you really want to fight um, whole. I'll say it that way. Uh, Gallic Hunters really, really bunched up here. Not really getting good shots. Balearic Slingers again, 137, 139 kills now for them. But these Gallic Hunters really need to start firing. Tribal Slingers are starting, or sorry, Celtic Slingers now starting to lose. This unit has been removed, 25 kills for them. Looks like the other Slingers are going to just fall back. They notice that they are losing that combat, so he's going to fall back with them. One of the Gallic uh, Elder Swordsmen here doing work, putting in some damage on this Royal Peltas unit. My God. How much are left? 92. Oh, we have another unit. Osworn coming up. They actually just activated their headhunt. They are not in combat. So these guys are going to be exhausted a lot faster than they would have been. Well, not not faster than... I thought that was... I saw the banner. I thought that was the Royal Peltas. I was going to say, oh, that's not good. Um, Royal Peltas pretty much getting eliminated, though. We do have the Gallic Elder Swordsman trying to do as best as they can. Really trying to hold back on these tribal warriors. we got one guy in the middle there. Never mind. He's dead. But firing in onto those Osworn as they're trying to run away, definitely a good idea. But keep an eye out for those Italian Slingers. Definitely don't want those Italian Slingers to start firing away again. These guys, not a whole lot of armor. The 25 for the Balearic, yeah, but the other four units are ranged here. The Gallic Hunters, only 10 armor. So start firing. Start firing. But they are eliminated. Oh, my God. An Osworn unit getting completely annihilated. Only nine kills. Okay, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. There's only eight of them left. Six of them left. Start firing at the slingers. Okay, one of them just breaking. Good stuff. Second unit still here. Oh, they're on their way out too. Well done. Very nicely done. Like I said, the Gallic Hunters being up on this hill, it had the chance of being a bad thing if the attackers had an opportunity to get in there, but good job by Lusitani and the Insurabes factions getting units over here to hold this front line. We have the Noble Horse General for Arverni making their way around along with the Noble Horse there for Insurabes. So we'll see if they're going to be able to do any damage. Maybe try and get in somewhere. Now, if I was Arverni, in all seriousness, these guys, 123, 91, they might not have a whole lot of ammo left. This unit does not. That unit has no ammo left. If I was Arverni, I would charge this line, break it down, get rid of it real fast. Because these three units of Osworn could trash them absolutely annihilate them and then be able to fall back oh whoa, whoa, whoa that's a Thoreos moving their way forward looks like they are just going to walk right up now these are the uh Osworn are in shield wall so they're not going to throw their javelins they will not throw those javelins maybe that's what Egypt's trying to get him to do but it's not going to happen look again Gallic Hunters chewing up another unit Galatian World Guard now. now I don't think there was a lot oh wait no there might there was there was a decent amount in that unit, but they are now gone. We got some more Osworn now making their way up for Tylus. All four units of Osworn coming around. Now, we saw how easily the first unit of Osworn got destroyed, but I don't think these 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 other four units are going to have the same fate. Now we have the uh, Celtic Slingers again making their way forward here for Tylus. 22, 8, and 14. Shots going in onto the Osworn. We actually have the Lusitani Nobles now charging a unit of Osworn here. Another unit of Nobles going to be charging in. Going to get a good flanking charge. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Osworn did change their field there. Got the Noble Horsemen for Insurabes charging their way up over here. Going to probably just keep an eye, but try and protect the uh, archers as best as possible. But the Nobles taking on the Osworn. That is a fight. That is definitely a brutal battle. 84 melee attack with that headhunt. What was the, uh, what's the tribals at? 51, oh no, it was 51. Or is it still, oh, it's on cooldown. It's on cooldown right now, so maybe that's what makes it 51. Because their melee attack is only 48. Or maybe, the, oh, their chevron, that's why it's 51. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I retract that statement. Lusitani Nobles fighting for everything they can. Gallic 
elder swordsman pulling away. This front line, here we go. Attackers starting to make their way forward now. Thorax Swordsman, Galatian Royal Guard, going to be taking on one full unit of Osworn. And guys, if you guys did not notice, we are playing, or they were playing with the large units instead of the ultra sized units. So it's only going to be 120 for the infantry, 90 for the ranged, and 60 for the cavalry. Gallic Hunters here doing a pretty good job. A 113, 86. This unit here, 69. Oh, another one, 69. Giggity. We have another unit right there, 73. The Balearic Slingers, 230 kills. Oh my god, they are brutal. Brutal. Oh, but here comes some of that cavalry. There is a bit of a hole. There is a gap in this line. It looks like that's where those infantrymen are going to try and get to, but the Gallic Hunters jumping into that hole. I'm going to say they probably still had a little bit of ammunition left, but they needed to fill the gap. But the Italian cavalry coming through, trying to get through. Trying to get through. Lusitani Noble General is over here now, though, with the Italian Cavalry still forcing their way through those archers. I said forcing through, not pushing through. Forcing their way through. I'll let you guys comment on that in the uh, comment section below what you guys thought as far as what the native Italian Cavalry just did right there. A native uh, companion cavalry, I should say. But that hole is open again, and here comes the Noble Horse for Tylus. Trying to follow him behind the silver silver infantrymen. I keep wanting to say silver shield infantrymen. But there you go. Noble horse now getting in onto these Gallic hunters that were up on the ridge. Taking on two units of cavalry. Not going to look very good. Yeah, definitely not going to go in favor of them. Osworn now charging out. Pushing the Royal Peltas away. Royal Peltas aren't actually retreating though. They're just reforming their line. So now this Osworn is open. Oh, God. Yeah, javelins, 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 javelins. A whole lot of javelins. That's four units of Royal Peltas right there. Oh, that is a lot. Man, they're charging. Okay. Oh, my God. Just getting absolutely obliterated. Complete pin cushions right there. They did make it into one of the units of Royal Peltas, but now look here. Yep, they're going to fire right into the back of that OS-1 unit. They're going to murder them. And even if they don't have much javelins left, they'll be able to just rear charge them. Probably remove them pretty quickly, but nope. Still with the javelin party. The murder sticks are on parade here, guys. Doing a ton of damage. Ton, ton, ton of damage. Here we go. Royal Peltas now making their way forward. Osworn's still in shield wall. They're not able to throw their javelins. Oh, God, I think that's a huge... I mean, I get why they're in shield wall, because they were trying to protect against the javelins from the attackers, but with those Osworn not being able to throw their javelins, that is a huge detriment to that unit. We have Balearic Slingers now charging up 253. they are trying to hold back these Royal Peltas, add some more of the Insurabes. Gal uh, Gallic Celtic... Oh, what is going on over here? They got in! The Noble Horsemen cleaning up back here. Wow. Doing some damage. That is great stuff to see. He actually gonna, looks like he's going to charge in onto that carrying Axman General, too. But right behind him. Yeah, get, get out of there. Run away. Run away. Run away. Noble Horse General, get out of there. Run, 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 run. All right, back over here. Yeah, the defenders have had to pull back even further. We do have the Lusitani Noble General, the Arverni Noble Horse General coming around as well. Seven and a half minutes left in this battle. Defenders are actually chipping away. It's coming back. Balance power has kind of bounced back in favor of the defenders just a little bit. It's actually a little bit further now. Little bit further. Let's see what these Balearic Slingers are at. 167. The Elder Swordsman here just holding the line, waiting to see if they need to be charged in. This Elder Swordsman now taking on that unit of Royal Peltas. Should be able to do a decent amount of damage. And we actually have Geltic, uh, the uh, Gallic Elder Swordsman here starting to throw their javelins. With that other roast one, you other in fight. They're in the fight. Yeah, in the shield wall like that. I mean, they're doing work though. So as combat is even, they're currently taking on a Royal Peltast and a Silver Infantry unit. Another unit of Royal Peltast looks like they're making their way up to the front line. I don't know if they're going to charge in. Probably not. Probably just going to hold there. The attackers not making their way around this way. I mean, I understand that so far, they're, all their army is so far over there already. They wouldn't be coming this way, but starting to press this backside here wouldn't be a bad idea, especially Mount of Osworn. 
two Osworn, a tribal warrior, the noble horse right there, the other noble horse general over here, who's actually now taking on the noble horse for Insurabes again, and that is not going to be a fight. Actually, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, noble horsemen, unfortunately for Insurabes, they are going to be removed from the battle. But holding the line over here, good switch out. Tired, going to get a charge bonus of 30 into those Royal Peltas. That was a good charge. Pretty solid charge. Osworn here still trying to hold the line as much as they can. Where's the Noble Horse General? He's pulling back, and here they come. Now they're coming around the side. And the Lusitani Noble General going to fall back. Meet up with another unit of the uh, Gallic Elder Swordsman there. Balance of power looks like it's starting. I mean, it's still 50-50. I would say it's still 50-50. It's pretty close. Ooh, what is that? Slingers? Yep, Celtic Slingers firing across into that front line, and we actually have look at everything that's pouring around over here. The Noble Horse is freed up, and he's going to line and get right through here, but he's going to have to deal with that. Yeah, run away. You don't want to deal with that. This guy's got full javelins. Pretty sure they have javelins. They should. They're like Osworn. So I think they're stronger than Osworn. They are stronger than Osworn. But he's coming back. No, he's not. He's pulling away. Tough fight. Balance of power starting to tick back in favor of the attackers, though. Ooh, noble horse for Arverni. Here comes the noble horse general. Looks like he's going to try and come down over here, but he's not going to be able to intercept them as fast as he probably wanted to. This guy is definitely going to make it around here. Turn around. There you go. If you can trap this noble horse in there, that would be huge comes the uh, Arverni Noble Horse General. Get some javelins. Come on. There you go. Good javelin volley. Wow. Very nice. Got 11 kills on that javelin volley, but the Noble Horse did make it around the corner, and they're going to get into these Balearic Slingers. Whole front line is still being held. Look at the balance of power. Switching back again. Wow. Oswan over here just getting absolutely chewed up right now. Our Verney General coming around. The Lusitani Noble General actually making his way back. Hey, another 69. That's three. 369s. Giggity. <laughs> uh, Lusitani Noble General is... Looks like he's going to fall back out of the way. Maybe he doesn't want to take any javelins from those silver shields, but it looks like it's silver... Silver infantrymen. Oh! There's javelins, and now they're going to charge in. Okay. Oswan still holding the line, trying their best. Unit is losing. Unit is losing slightly. The Tylus general still here. Guys, this is a close battle. Holy crap. I did not, with the amount that the defenders had left, I didn't think it was going to be this much of a fight. But now the Sam Knight Silver Infantry General now getting involved in the fight here as well. 148 kills for him. Noble Horse for Arverni still rumbling around. Looks like, oh, he's got a good target. Yes, he does. Charging right in onto the side of that general, but the Noble Horse for Tylus here as well. Gallic Elder Swordsman General has made their way back over here. Noble Horse General is going to pull away, and this Gallic Elder, he's got to charge in there. He's got to charge in there right now. Oh, they got stopped. Their charge got delayed. Now they're charging in. The Arverni General was able to get away. 16 kills for him. Unfortunately, only 16 kills, but some of them were on that Sam Knight inf uh, Infantry General. Wow, this is crazy. How close this is right here. Attack, uh, bounce power getting back in favor of the defenders. They just cleared out a unit. This whole, oh wow, this is huge. Gallic Elder Swordsman getting in onto the Carrion Axeman General. Big battle still going on over here. Actually, no, Osworn being removed. We do have the Noble Horse General coming around. Noble Horse still for Arverni in the center. Second unit of the generals being removed. So there is one general left for the attackers. The defenders still have all three of their generals. Oh my god. 
What a turn around. Wow. That's it, guys. That's going to be it. Final minute in the battle. Only one unit of infantry left there. 150 kills. Lusitani Nobles, 114. We still have a unit of Celtic Slingers there. Looks like they are just maybe going to make their way forward. 20 kills for them. Are they out of ammo? Yeah, it looks like they're out of ammo. So not great, uh, not great shots there with them. Noble Horse General Fort Tylus has charged in onto a unit of the Elder Swordsman there. Slinger's going to charge in. Yeah, 36 seconds left. Wow, what a battle. That was huge. Bounce of power went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth so many times. Wow, what a great battle. But the final unit here, Noble Horse General still getting kills. Wavering a unit of the Gallic Elder Swordsman there, but the Lusitani Noble and the Insurabi General getting over here as well. That is going to be it. Final 11 seconds. Tylus trying to pull his general away. There's no real point. He's just going to turn him and charge him right back in again. Maybe try and get some more kills, but he is out of there. Costly victory for the defenders. What a close battle. Wow. Balance of power back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Numbers are actually pretty close to each other as well. Uh, let's take a look at Mo, who's the one that sent the replay in. So, dude, thank you very much. 1,939 kills for him. Lusitani Noble General, 144. His slingers, 242, 256, 191, 187. Wow. Clinic with those slingers. Uh, his, yeah, Gorillas didn't really get a whole lot. The rest of his Lusitani, look at that. 59, 59. Ooh. One unit there with 113. But some of his uh, Veteran Shield Warriors, 108 there, 88. Now, again, I'm only, and another 88. I'm saying that because these, the numbers were low. This was only the large size unit, so... Uh, but then getting into Donner Crail here with Arverni, 1,230 kills, 19 with the General. His archers, 93, 80, 121. Uh, Chosen Swordsman, not doing very well. One unit there was 75. Osworn, 115, 104. And his Naked Warriors just not doing a lot. Even the Savage Dogs not getting a whole lot. But then we have the Irishman, or just just Irishman here with Inserbris. In, Inserbris? Inserb I've been saying the name the whole, wrong this whole time. Uh, his Gallic Elder Swordsman General, 202, Archers, 103, 100, 93, and the rest of his army here, 168, 243, 168, 136, 150, 152, 119, 210, 102, 158, 134, and 115. Really solid infantry units. Very nicely done. Uh, that chicken was dry, playing as Egypt, 1,944 kills. Carrying Axman General, 62. Ballista, 166. Cretan Archers doing pretty good, 124, 221. Is uh, Galician World Guard 121, 206, 130. Royal Peltast, one unit there, 114, 98, 94. So some of them doing pretty good. These other two not doing very well. Uh, Thorax Swords, 110, 111. Top unit of his Thoreo Spears with 20. Then we have Getrobu here. Getrobu with uh, the Sam Knight faction. Wow, 21, 18. 174 on his general. Companion Cavalry here with 111. Slingers not getting a whole lot. One unit there, 113. Pretty good. Uh, Sam Knight Silver Infantry, which was pretty much his whole army, except for one unit of the Lucanian Warriors that didn't do much. So uh, Sam Knight Silver Infantry here with uh, 141, 152, 198, 228, 154, 108, 202. A couple other units that are kind of close, like 84, 94, some of them close to 96, some of them close to 100. And then we have Sam Mitchell here with Tyler's 1431, 71 with his general, his Onager 122. That other noble horse right there, 211 kills. Very nicely done with them. I think they're the ones that got into the Gallic Hunters over at Verney. Uh, his Slinger's not getting a whole lot of kills. His Osworn, though, 155, 109, 121. Tribal Warriors, 122, 139, 117. So, yep. Yeah. All right, guys, there you go. That is the end of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember, check out the links, all, all of the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, share the content around. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey, guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.